Well, let me uh, welcome our viewers here in the United States and around the world. We're following breaking news in the United States. I'm Wolf Blitzer in Washington. Uh, a horrific mass killing at a small elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut, not long ago. It unfolded in the 9 a.m. Eastern hour, and now we're beginning to get information that close to 30 people have been killed in this mass killing and this mass shooting on that. Uh, joining us now, Steve Purdy and... Uh, a uh, former police detective uh, who's worked, unfortunately, these kinds of uh, homicides over the years. Walk us through what police are going through right now, Steve. Well, first of all, Wilf, they, they, they certainly and they already have done tend to the wounded, get the injured out of there, uh, secure that area, locate as many witnesses as possible. Uh, that school is going to be closed down for probably a lengthy period of time while they conduct their investigation. They're going to put the pieces together, uh, see, try in a chronological order, see how this happened. Uh, was, he, was he killed with a self-inflicted gunshot, or did the teachers and the principal fight back, disarming him and possibly killing him? And so now they will go ahead and try to figure out why this happened, why a gunman uh, in his 20s went into this particular school at, with weapons and started killing kids. Unfortunately, this is the platform that people like this are seeking out. Our educational institutions are soft targets. Uh, if you want to commit a crime like this, unfortunately, uh, we, we don't have in place right now the mechanism to protect our young and our, our loved ones. So what should we be doing, Steve? As someone you, know, you used to work in law enforcement, what should we be doing? Well, as a matter of fact, Wolf, uh, back at, at Virginia Tech, I recreated uh, Virginia Tech and how to take that back. Uh, we, we have to educate the teachers. We all, all of our institutions have plans for something like this. However, when it happens, uh, it's beyond comprehension. Uh, we, we have to train our teachers to be able to direct the children, especially at this age, to be able to direct them and tell them what to do because they can't act on their own. They, they, are, they are defenseless against something like this. So it's the adults that are going to have to pick up this process, our education system, uh, law enforcement, and it's got to go beyond the education department uh, to the president's office because the institutions, and just imagine what's being planted in people's heads and why they're doing this. Steve Carty, and stand by. Uh, we're going to continue this conversation.